Still talking in your sleep, huh? Guess some things never change. Weirdo. Hairball. <laughs> Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. We both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what, you're gonna go find some trouble with Saul Guerrero? Maybe. Yeah, one of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... Listen, I know you all had your reasons for leaving, but walking away isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that gun, you cow? Look, I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What? Home, Grease. There is no home. Home was the order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? I know you were dealt a bad hand, but you've got to take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You gotta know when to walk away from a rigged game. Otherwise, you are gonna end up losing something you could never replace. All right. I want to show you something. This is a smuggler's tunnel. It came with the cantina. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the manis up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you one thing? It's really good seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Grease, I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. Go ahead, get the gyro, and, you know, hurry back, be careful, and all the other warnings I used to give you to. Yeah, yeah. We'll be fine and all the things we used to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll be fine. I guess fine's enough. Oh, watch your step down there. Do me a favor, don't stir up any rats. Or ghosts. Or rat ghosts. I could do without extra problems for a day. It's been a while since I tidied up, so good luck down there, kid. That's not very reassuring. Now, compared to what Saw has you up to, this'll be a walk in the park. Smuggling tunnels, huh? Grease always kept a few secrets up his sleeve.
Thanks, BD. Ouch. Boglings? Aren't these what spook grease? Hey, little guy. Use these tunnels for a long time now. Dusty and abandoned. More scraps, huh? Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk. One way door. Let me guess, more prospecting equipment. Is there anyone on Kobo who isn't making for scraps? Is that it? the sooner we can. We should check this out.
Back to it. Almost reminds me of the Jedi training grounds. It feels different. Older. Interesting. What's that, bud? Power's still running down here. Let's see if we can hit the lights. Not bad. Think we could walk on that? Careful, BD. I came as soon as I could, Master Kree. I'm sorry it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the Council demanded. Then at least, I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? I am ZNA-4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Kree, you are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. That is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuner? Oh, what a fine model. Array. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. May the Force be with you. has been here for hundreds of years. I'm a Jedi, all right. But you're not even wearing the proper robes. I'm more of a poncho guy. Use the orbs to activate the bridge. Then you can reach the crane controls. Uh, I think. After <laughs> so many idle years, who really knows? This droid's got more than a screw loose. What was that? I, uh, said... Hold tight, Z. Soon, Z. Take your time. I've only been here 
been here for a while. Hmm. I didn't have your name in my databanks. When <clears throat> did you pass the trials? Never took them. I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this labor breach protocol? It's a long story. Take a look. Well, I, I must admit, I am in need of repair. Oh. So, Z, what's Tanalor? Hmm. A planet hidden within the Cobalt is. Hmm. It's home to a Jedi temple. of the Order's light on the galactic frontier. At least that's what my master hoped Tanalor might become. That should do it for now. Just gotta figure a way out of this place. Well, I can help with that. It's this... Was it that? No. Oh! Yes, it is this way. Follow me. see where we are. A meditation chamber. Master Kree designed these to train Jedi. I remember this. Don't recall what it does, however. Master Kree had a brilliant mind. Do you know her, Cal? Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. The exit is this way. I am very fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah, we could have been down here forever. That planet you mentioned. What's it like? Tanalor? Oh, what a wondrous place. How do I get there? Navigate the Kobolis. That must be the knowledge your master purged from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. How long you been together? Too, Too long. long. We were one of the first people here, and both tried scouting for Priorite. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. And I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. <laughs> then I caught sight of the most pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlo. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of Clumsy Rumsy. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since. Because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. Still puts a smile on my face. Something you need? Huh? Come on. Look around. 
Welcome. Take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Doma Dendra guarantee. Hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop's built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. See anything you like? Ooh, that's a nice one. Looks good to me. Yeah, some good-for-nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door, and now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open? My goodness, you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. Stem canister. That'll prove useful. Glad you came to Kobo, Cal. You're a hard worker, aren't you? And always putting others before yourself. How can you tell? Smudge of dirt on your pants, a whiff of adrenaline. Your eyes dart for danger, alert. I call it hunter's eyes. It's a trap game. A hunter refines her ability to observe. But for the record, your friendly demeanor don't fool me one bit. That right. Oh, yeah. You're a natural hunter, and you damn well know it. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Oh, yeah, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another for attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, it likely did. But I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Be seeing you. Spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Cal, what's it? Look, I told you, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal Kestis. Found the gyro. You made it. Good to see you, Cal. Grease Drydis, this is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. I am ZNA4, humble servant to the Jedi Order. Oh, I take it you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? <laughs> Cal. You have saved me, but I must ask more to steal. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest array, but given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the menace before the raiders snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Huh. Is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the menace. 
I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I'm in full operating order, I will join you at the forest array. Onward! Uh, Z. Whoa there, Heritage. While they're all sallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> caught up on the state of the galaxy. Cal, I'm gonna lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use the back man. door, would you? Tell me more about the weapon, Raider. Ugh, nasty customer. Armed to the teeth with sliced battle droids for backup. Hmm, that's some serious firepower. That's not exactly what I want to hear from my escort, pal. <laughs> Relax. You're in safe hands. You'll be all right, Grease. If you say so. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. So how'd everything turn out? Bravo's gone. I had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. They all were. I'll miss him. Definitely not your standard crew. I could tell that from the start. Yeah. Gabs, Bravo, the twins. We were close. I understand. Just remember that you're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, bud. I got your back, brother. Thanks for looking after Grease while I chase down this lead. Twice the arms, twice the fun, right? More like twice the trouble. Ooh, can't wait. Keep an eye on Grease for me, all right? Don't worry, Cal. You handle the mystery in the forest. I'll handle Grease. You worry about the array, whatever that is. We'll handle the Mantis. So how is Kobo? You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. Away from the Empire, the Haxian Brood. Escape all the trouble. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? Ha, <laughs> no kidding. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z's trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a Padre. Not that I'm too picky. You meet any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pylons, you hear? Place could use a little trouble. I wonder if Kobo will have any legends about me. <laughs> Maybe I'll go spread a rumor or two. Go on. I gotta focus on sussing out your boy here. Gris always had an eye for eccentric art. Even covers his cantina couches with Patoli weave fabric. Classic grease. So, just two arms, huh? Yeah, but don't worry. I got your back. Oh, yeah? Like you helped Cal and Coruscant? We helped each other. That's how we made it out alive. That time. Look, let me tell you something. Not for you, for my friend. Be careful with him. If you get in trouble, Cal gets in trouble. He doesn't like to leave friends behind. That stupid, loyal Jedi jerk. I hear you, Grease. Is he scrapping anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks or the Raiders show face, folks abandon their projects. So Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> you got that right. Kobo's a big planet. There's got to be someone out there who thinks like me. Okay, a few years ago, the Supreme Chancellor decided democracy was out of fashion and declared himself emperor. The Republic is no war? I'm afraid so. In fact, these days, you'd be hard-pressed to name a planet free from Imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. Let's say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings. Yes. Perhaps that would be best. Weird bucket of bolts you dragged in. Well, actually, she's a droid from the High Republic. Don't care. Run along now. I can see why you sit alone. Hey, Z. Know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal. But it is surely the work of Master Kree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes. But all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Not now, Cal. 
Why don't we catch up once you've returned from the forest array? Tell another time, yes? I'm awaiting my oil bath. Still here, Cal? That array won't open itself, you know. So how long have you known Bo? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work exactly? A little of this, a little of that. I see. Say no more, Cal, say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a colorful expression from Calistar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, rain will come even in the desert. And when the rain comes... You best get out of the way. Cal, let's chat later. Z and I are catching up on the state of the galaxy. Sorry, Cal, but I'm busy tending to heritage here. Well, that reminds me. I should check on that oil bath soon. Apologies, champ, but I'm a tad busy with your new friend here. Maybe another time. You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe... You can't uh... borrow it, Turgle. Ah. Uh, I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Listen, friend. What's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. Another time. That can't be up to code. Even out here on the frontier. Keep going. That's the gate Z told us about. you ask me here? I don't like you, and you don't like me. That's right. But you annoy me a lot less than the others in this go-nowhere town. And I think you feel the same. What are you saying? Out with it already. I'm saying this is a date. And we're on it. And if you don't like it, too bad. Hi there. <laughs> don't mind the beast. She don't like strangers. The mountain don't neither. You be careful. I'll try. Thanks. Prospector's folly, we call it. Pretty treacherous. Crawling with all kinds of dangers. Sounds like our kind of place. <laughs> There's stuff beyond these crags that makes your blood run cold. Oh, we could tell you some stories. BD-1. 
My batter old mum dubbed me Scuba Steve. Scuba the Fisher, am I? You know, there's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That'll have an infested watering hole down in your valley. All right, all right. You know, yeah. Ah, fine, twist my arm. I'll do it. Meet me at the saloon and we'll appraise this so called tank. Ah, can you could have stay away? And then if you say the sea spray once has messed at your gums. I guess not. You're the aspect of a fisher lad. And uh, lucky for you, we're perched just above the lair of the sea fish. Sea fish, huh? That's right. An impossible catch. No fisher in the right mind would pursue such a quarrelsome foe. No fisher, but Scuba Stev. Thanks. We can trade this at Doma's shop. See what's up ahead, buddy. This won't be easy. Think of the rewards, Shanna. Come on. Okay. Prior right. I wonder what this will fetch a dumb shot. through, officer. <laughs> Nothing that ain't made of Dura steel is passing through this electron wall. Weapon's hot, sir. Let's shoot him before he gets ideas. Negative. We've got our orders. Sure you can't make an exception? You smell that, scum? That's Imperial air you're breathing. So get back before I forget my orders and we see how tough you really are. Why don't you drop the shield and we'll... F you will lower the shield. I... I already showed you my authorization. You already showed me your authorization. Uh, sir? TK-783 to base command. Lower the shield. What? Wait, what? to center myself.
You're the new guy, right? Sorry, I missed that. Say that again? I didn't say anything. Must be that ringing in my ears. The other day, a roller mine blew up and nearly took my head off. The ones from the building in the valley? Huh? Yeah, that's right. We checked it out already. Lucky you! Now, if only I could get this ringing in my ears to stop. Huh? What'd you say? Gotta go. Feel better. Gulu, Guido, what's going on? Just bemoaning the sorry state of affairs in this place. What did the raiders do this time? No, not them. We were talking about how things ain't like the good old days. When we started out here, life was grand. The place was nearly empty. Barely anyone to bother you. Sounds like paradise. Well, it's the way of the galaxy. The only constant is change, and everything gets worse with time. Yeah, and there's always one Turgle everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> What? Ah, you troublemaker. I'm fast, you barbic! No, Pots. Tis only Cal. Forgive the short greeting, lad. I'm always on edge when fishing for the finger lipped Garpon. What a name. And fierce as they come. But that doesn't need to turn the poachers. The poor Garpon, despite its rarity, is a delicacy for the black of heart and a rumbly of belly. In we go! Ah, did you see that beauty? Two plump fins, a fine compliment to glands. <laughs> A scrumptious, varicose tongue. Fishing on an empty stomach, Scuva? Hey, I, I can't succumb to the passions of the stomach. The garpon must live. I'd better get me mind off it. Then spin your tail. So, you wish to prick up your ears and receive the tail of Scuva? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. Then you be a fool, my lad. My sordid tail will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well... If you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. My story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of Sankavi Tar. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look could turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, eh? From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it upon frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry, on account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all the belly aching now, it's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakavian with an instinct for the road. So you discovered your talent early. Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spoke to my first prickly chin here. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. Where are we? Ah, yes, by virtue of my prodigious fishing talents. I was taken to see the mysterious one they call Undun. I can see it still. We scuba ushered into young black-mouthed cave. I could barely make out the figure glinting with moonlight. I scrubbed my eyes like a, a old tar scrubbing the deck. And there she was, a vast creature. Great tentacles blooming from her blubber like Cables gorging on a fuel tank. One of the tentacles twitched into the air, just over my head, and then, wham! Right on the noggin, so I'm told. I staggered out the cave like a lover first acquainted with the deck. But something else happened. I think, when that fell tentacle struck me, Undun took something straight out 
tummy bleed and put something else and she put something in your brain aye boy the subtle art of catching a fish the art of focus and in the dark with nothing but the bristles on your chin for company that focus is special from that day forward when i plunge my line into the frigid waters it would emerge with a fish three times out of seven that's less than half my village told me that i'd be the one to save them from the great fish famine little did i know that the grapnel was soon to arrive on our shores gonna assume that's a bad thing perhaps lad and perhaps not but that'll be a story for another time Here for the soundscape, too? No, just passing through. You're hunting for sounds? That's right, man. Dee Dee's been all over these glider calls. Yeah, it's sounding great. You know, Kailun Saloon down in the outpost is starving for some live entertainment. Hmm, might not be a bad call. Dee Dee swore one of those beasts gave him some side eye. Yeah, we're in. We'll catch you back at the outpost. See you there. Dee Dee and I are just gonna finish up here. <laughs> Chill, Dee Dee. I ain't rushing you.
What a view. I bet I could plant a great garden up here with a little help. All right, let's try planting these seeds we found. And plant it. Barely escaped Coruscant, Grease. Wish I had you by my side. Yeah, me too. There'd be less to repair on the Manic. You ever have any close calls like that? Oh, yeah. I was on the Ryloff system one time. Suddenly, I see three modified light Corvettes on my tail. Oh, yeah, it was bad. We play pirate. I tried every evasive move in the book. Full throttle, I could lose them. So how'd you escape? I managed to divert the power from the ship's climate control to its engines. It gave me the extra boost to shake those pirates off. <laughs> and a new trick to push the Mantis whenever I needed it. That's why the Mantis always gets colder at full speed. A greasy secret. Don't you tell nobody. I need a little grease time. You never told me where you're from, Boat. Here and there. I spent a lot of my life on Beeren. That's where Kata was born. Ever been? I haven't. Mm. In a rim. Sleepy, but it suited us for a while. Until it didn't. Oh, don't sweat it, BD. You take the good with the bad, right? There were good times on Buren, too. Gotta remember those. Otherwise, how do you go on, you know? Good luck out there. I wish those raiders would just leave us alone. Every time they smash things up, I'm the one who's got to fix them. The outpost is lucky to have you. Sure. I just wish I could build something that couldn't be knocked down, that's all. Yeah, me too. It's lonely patching up the outpost on my own. Be nice if I had a partner. We'll speak later. Go on, sit forward. Gal, how do you and Grieve meet? I was working on Brock as a scrapper. Breeze gave me a lift when I needed it most. And the way he tells the story, seems you gave him a lift, too. That's so. He never said the words exactly, but when I wanted to turn that back room of yours into storage, <laughs> he threatened to replace me with a gonfroid. People show their affection in strange ways, don't they? Yeah, Monk. I guess they do. There aren't any Zabrak hanging out in the outpost, right? Not that I've seen. Huh, thank goodness. Thought I was gonna have to book it for a second there. Are there people out to hurt you? Only always. But I owe these Zabrak quite a few credits for a, an incident I was involved in. You get into a lot of trouble, don't you? The less you know, the better. Trust me. I can always run and start a new life. No, Turgle. Not again. You know, you've got a core world air about you. It's becoming. You from the core? Guilty as charged. I studied the galactic economy with some of the greatest minds of Coruscant. Then watched those same minds ooze into obscurity while real opportunity whistled by. Real opportunity? Oh, you know, tax-free trade, extrajudicial imports, what have you. Oh, you mean smuggling? What I mean is that the galaxy is begging to fill your pockets if only you'll play its game. Talk later, hmm? Glad you both found Pyloons all right. <laughs> Thanks again for the invite. Name's Ash Hobby, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD-1. Man, you didn't tell me what a dive this place would be. 
This saloon has wonky acoustics, weirder customers, and a barely functional refresher. It's perfect. Can't wait to hear what you've got. Pretty sure Grease's old jukebox predates the High Republic. We got you, Cal. Hit up DDEC if you want to hear anything specific. I will. Thanks. We have some tunes, but there's got to be so much left. Let's see here. 